Hello. How are you guys doing today? High vibrational beings here we have today. Okay, let's see what we have. You know, when you find this information, you're aligned to receive it. You are part of the universe. The universe is a part of you. There's not Listen. Before we get into the question today and the lesson, there's something I want you to keep in mind. Okay? And there's something that you have to remember. Here it is. There is no such thing as coincidence. There's no coincidence that exists within this multiverse of elements we have here. Okay? I want you to remember that. Okay, where is my question? I thought I saved my question here. Oh, I didn't upload it? Hmm. Let's see. Nope. Let's see where my question is. Well, I know the question, but I just, I'm trying to, to get it in for you. Okay, let's see. Here it is. Oh, here it is. Hey, how are you doing today? Thank you, everyone, for joining. All right, question is, hey, Mark. Hi Mark, can you do a video on using your present moment awareness to manifest? I know you've done a video on it before, but we need another one because it's such an important topic. Yeah, I agree. Uh, present moment manifestation is an important topic. How are all of you guys doing today? Great to see you here. Now, here is the thing that you need to understand. I want to put it in a way that you all can relate to this and this is the best way to manifest anything how to manifest a house someone's commenting when there's bidding wars on it i'm going to show you how to do that in the present moment awareness a little bit of, but if you listen guys if you want to get to specific stuff like really manifest a house car money stuff like that you have to enroll in my new platform school school platform it's my new community for high manifested members like you guys i put the link down below you get in there once a week video conference with me techniques everything I show you also I have to tell you guys because you guys keep telling me mark talk about it talk about your coaching program your one-on-one -on -one coaching program that's helping people but here it is I, I have one-on-one -on -one coaching you can get me to mentor you to teach you to help you with a systematic way to get your mind and subconscious everything going all of that I can put in the link below everything is here to help you to live your best life possible Jesse says yes it's helping me good schools helping you well this is going to help you what I'm about to show you what I'm about to teach you all right so thank you guys for joining for the ones that are just joining question is can you do a video on present moment awareness to manifest all right so let's talk about the rules of manifestation and how it works here it goes you can only ever create you can only ever experience everything in your entire life can only come in this moment of now are we in agreement with that? What's the difference between my first book and my new book? My first book primarily talked about my journey when I won the lottery, how I did it using my visualization, my subconscious mind techniques to help you in quantum physics and also a broad perspective of everything else. That's my first book, How to Win the Lottery Using the Quantum Mechanics. That one's my bestseller so far, popular. Get that on Amazon, put the link below. My next book master the game of life the cheat code of life is a overall aspect to show you how to navigate to to to, hmm, to win the game of the matrix of the simulation all the knowledge techniques do stuff homework assignments it, it's not just knowledge it's knowledge to implement so that book I I'm telling you that book is the best one yet because it has everything in it all right got lost my train of thought you guys are just so cool okay so, okay, agree with me, right? Every single thing, if you think about it, that you have ever experienced in your life, you don't experience it in the time. You experience it always in this moment. Right? Do we agree with that? Have We, we haven't ever experienced tomorrow. We never experienced Monday or Tuesday. We never experienced Wednesdays. We never experienced the best days of the week, the Fridays, the Saturdays. We've never been in the month of January. We've never had the month of May. We've never been in the year 2021 and 2024, okay? We have never been there because all of those are made up as part of our simulation. 
Go to 2024. Go to tomorrow. Go to yesterday. We have never been there, people. Listen, this is important. I want you to really think about that for a second. So why does it feel like I've been in 2024? Why does it feel like I've been in Wednesday and Thursday? Why does it feel like I am 21 or I'm 25? Why does it feel like... Why do I... Why do I, why do I look well, as a baby, but I'm a grown man or a grown woman? You, something's going on here. Let me explain to you what's going on here so you can get this so you can show. What's actually happening in the big picture, it is called E-N-T-R-O-P-Y. Let me repeat it again. E, write it down. E-N-T-R-O-P-Y. Entropy. Entropy is the natural state that everything goes from order to disorder comes back again and go order to disorder you become a kid you become an adult you die you reincarnate you come back as a kid an adult blah 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 when the when the universe came that was part of the package with the universe it's called entropy entropy gives you the illusion of Monday, Tuesday, 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock of time. What makes it even worse is because now we have the illusion of that, our system creates linear psychological time, 5 o'clock, 4 o'clock. Your brain gets used to it, gives you psychological, emotional feelings to tell you it is 5 o'clock or 4 o'clock. But I have, I'm going to break the news for you. It is never 5 o'clock. It is never 4 o'clock. It is always now. Entropy is another word for chaos. Correct. Everything must go from order to chaos. Then chaos comes back to order. That's how the universe works. Okay? So do we understand that? Because this is important now. Because the, you want to manifest in the power of manifesting in the present moment. These are like when you go to school, you have to know your criteria. You have to know, you know they give you the syllabus and they show, okay, these are the requirements you got to know before you take this class. This is the requirements you got to know before you start manifesting like top stuff. If you don't know this, you're always going to be out of the present moment, psychologically in your head. You never want to be out. You want to be in. So do we understand that? So entropy is what makes us think time is real because it's a constant of change and we perceive the change as time but it's not true it's a lie it's just our way of living our life in a world with three dimensions and four dimensions of linear time got that all right so now that you know that you always hear and you, you can only ever experience what you want now so here's the secret to manifest in the present moment so you can get the thing faster. All right, the next thing is, here's the bottom line. The world you and I live in, it's shaped by two things. Can anyone tell me the two things that shape your reality? In other words, what makes you experience and see the world? What conforms the world to you? There are two things that shape your world. Does anyone know that? So one says, my thoughts. Okay. Our thoughts, consciousness. Consciousness is the thing, right? The whole thing that shapes it. Okay. One person got it so far. Layla, 8888. Beliefs. That's correct. Your belief change and shape your world. What's the other one that shape your world? Expectation. I'm going to talk about that, but that's in there too. I'm glad you brought that up. What's the other one? I haven't seen it. Belief, we got one person here got the right belief. Nope, it's not perception. Perception is part of your belief. It's not assumption. Okay, I'll go a couple more times. Let's see if anybody here can get the big bing, bing, bing. It's thoughts. Your thoughts create your beliefs. So thoughts and beliefs are like the same. Emotion is the closest thing I see to it. All right, so here it is. Feelings is the closest. All right, here are there. The two things that shape your physical world is your beliefs and your desires okay let me repeat it again your belief and your desires shape your world what you believe what you want and you desire 
if you know how to do it, it will come into your world. Okay, now why do I say that? So here's how you're going to manifest in the present moment. Belief, desire leads to what? Somebody said it earlier. When you believe something and you desire something, what does it lead to? Yeah, guys, you're all very smart here. Feeling. Okay. When you believe something and you desire something, it's going to lead to an expectation. And then when you have an expectation, you know what happens in an expectation? It's going to come into your world as a physical experience or action. So, in the present moment, if you want to get what you want, expect, here's the key words, if you expect miracles, what we call miracles, if you expect the thing that you want to happen for you, and not never and never expect how or when it's going to come, but if you expect that you're going to be a winner, you expect that you're going to get that promotion, you expect that your business is going to do 20K a month or whatever, you expect your health is going to get better, that will change your physical reality. That is present moment manifestation. Because you can only ever have a belief and a desire in the moment. You can only expect in the moment. This goes in, somebody said, what about the lottery? It's the same thing for the lottery. It's the same thing for everything. Hey, how are you doing? Now, when you practice that, and how, but, but, but how, how do I practice belief and awareness and expectation, man? How do I do that? Here's how you do that. Whenever you think of whatever it is you want, it's very simple. Do not think of it as somewhere coming or something in the future. Think of it as if you're experiencing it right now. Oh man, okay, I got that part, but this part is even more confusing. How do I think of experiencing something now? Can anyone tell me how do you think of experiencing something right now? How do I think of experiencing something now? Feeling, M got it. Yes. Okay, I'm going to, now, how do I feel it, Mark? Okay, there's two ways you can feel this stuff. Here it is. The first way, just feel it. Turn your body on to feel what it would feel like to get what you want. If you can't do it that way, don't worry. I got another one for you. Someone says it. You can visualize it. Yeah, visualize it. And I got another one for you. Here's what you do. If you can't do it, if you can't visualize it too much, and you can't feel it too much, then you go to the third option. The third option is you ask yourself. You go to yourself and you say just like this, hey, what would it feel like for me to have $10,000 in my bank account? What would it feel like for me to get that promotion I wanted, I desired? What would it feel like for me to be healthy as possible. Do you know what's going to happen when you do that? I mean, it's not rocket science. Yeah, has anybody ever tried doing that before? Has anyone ever done it before? To test it? Well, go ahead and do it. You can do it right now. Guess what's going to happen? Your body is going to give you the feeling of that. Okay, now, why would your body give you the feeling of something that you haven't experienced yet? That's the aha question. Can anyone answer that? Why would my body give me a feeling of something that I haven't even gotten or it's not here yet? I'll give you a tip. It's all about the subconscious mind programming and how it operates. That's the biggest tip I can give you right there. So I'm looking for the answer. Okay, here's the answer. Okay, here it is. The reason your body will, first of all, the reason why your body gives you the feeling of it is through your subconscious mind. Always remember, people, 
your subconscious mind controls your emotions, your immune system, everything, okay? So here's why. The subconscious mind does not know the difference between what is real or what is imagined, okay? So if I say to myself, and by the way, I say this out loud. If I say, what would it feel like to win $50,000 in the lottery? What would it feel like to win a million dollars in the lottery? What do you feel like to have the, my dream house? What do you feel like to have my dream car? If I say that, I am going to get a feeling of what it would feel like. Because you see, in a subconscious mind, everything is already manifested there. So it goes into the feel and it brings the feeling to show me what you call the future into the present. Because to it, it's already happened. This is how, this is the only way I could ever get that feeling. I can only get the feeling of winning because I've already won. Your mind can't give you a feeling of something that you can never experience. Whoa. Listen to that one. Let me repeat that again. Your mind can never give you a feeling of something that you have never experienced, people. So the fact that you get the feeling, it means it has already happened. Remember, in the subconscious, there is no time. Man, I need to block this guy right here, man. He's messing up the energy. Who's this guy right here? His name is TikTok TikTok. I'm about to tick. Wait, where's he at? I'm about to TikTok TikTok him right now. Bam. There we go. All right. He's out of the flow. He's out of the. He's out of the field. All right. Now, listen to this. If I repeat it again, because it's so important. This this not this might ma not make sense to your logical mind, but everything has is happening in this moment, right as we speak. Yeah, TikTok, TikTok. I got him already. He's blocked. Everything that you possibly could ever want is happening now. Here's the issue with it: your brain is minuscule. It cannot compre comprehend or complete and see the whole picture. This is why you have partial perception. This is why you only have limited concept. This is why you only see 2% of actual reality. So, I'm just making it very simple. The question is manifest in the present moment. I'm giving you the answer right now. When you practice this, when you think about what you want and then you feel it and you ask yourself, you can't, if you ask yourself what would it feel like, your subconscious mind will generate the feeling of that thing because the only way you can ever feel that thing is already happened somewhere in the field. It's in a coordinate. So what you want to do now is you want to get that distance or that coordinate to match your present moment vibration, right? So you can experience it. That's what you want to do, right? Okay, that's what you want to do. Okay, so now, how does that happen? It's the same process to manifest. Someone asked me, how do I manifest someone in my life? The same process. What would it feel like to have such and such in love with me? The name of the person. Now, here's the only asterisk when you're manifesting a person. Okay, here's an asterisk next to it. You know when you write something? Say, you can have this, but, but... Here's the but when it comes to manifesting people now. They can only come into your life if they're on the same vibration. If they're not on your vibration, no matter how much you want them and desire them, they will never come into your space. Sorry. Just means someone better is out there for you. So how does someone come into my vibration? Number one, you have to already kind of have a liking or some kind of feeling. They have to kind of have some kind of feeling for you or some kind of awareness. Number two, they have to be in the same uh, mindset or, or positivity as you, and then you'll draw them in. That's the only way to do it, all right? So now, whenever you feel something, your subconscious now thinks it has already happened, okay? So what your subconscious does now, it says, okay, this already happened in the present moment, right? Because the reason now, here's what happens. In the present moment now, there's not only one of you in the moment. There are infinite copies of of you experiencing every possible outcome. So the, what the subconscious does, it goes to the copy of you that has already experienced what you felt. And then it says, okay, there's your there's your twin that got this. Let me go get that experience and I'm gonna bring it to your copy here. And then you will experience this here. Now, you may look at me, you may say, 
Oh, this this is gibberish. This doesn't make any sense. Well, let's go to the science of it. Let's go to quantum mechanics. You know, quantum mechanics is the inner working of what you call God's hands. So let's let me just show you in the quantum mechanical science term. So for some of you out there might be saying, oh, this is just a bunch of just spiritual gibberish or metaphysics or da 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 what they all say. But let's use the word of quantum physics to show you that what I'm just what I just told you is actually not a theory anymore, it's actually a fact. In 2021 or 2020, one of those years, but about two, two physicists won a Nobel Prize. You know what Nobel Prize is? They won a Nobel Prize for showing and proving that reality doesn't exist. It's non-local. It's not here. Okay? That's not the biggest one. Here's the biggest one. Along with that uh, reality not here, they showed what's called quantum entanglement. That shows that every possible reality is coupled together and every possible reality has every possible being experiencing something okay it was in 2022 there you go thank you so i'll go back to what i just said to you now that in the present moment there are infinite copies of you so show quantum physics shows that i didn't say that that's what the the experiments come back verified okay it says that there are infinite versions of mark janet phil paul and whatever I feel, I go and I take that and bring it here. And let me use the entanglement to show you. Quantum entanglement now says that there can nothing can ever be separate. Everything is entangled. There, that's why I have the feeling from the other mark because I'm entangled with that beyond the distance. There is no distance. There is no speed of light. There is no space. There is no time when it comes to entanglement. It's out of the realm of our dimension and our con conception. So I, the reason I'm saying this to you, I, I, mean, I, I want to just get you to understand. I don't want you to, you don't have to know all of that stuff and da, da, da. But you do have to know, however, the basics that everything can only come in this moment. So, okay, again. So now you have your feeling down pat. Next step. Once you have the feeling, you repeat it. Then you monitor the mind. Now you want to stay out of the future and the past because your mind loves to keep you there. Okay. Okay. It took took two years to manifest. Someone said it took me two years to manifest the lottery win. Well, it took me about twelve months to manifest my lottery win. But to me, it's no time. No one says. No one talks about the healing process in manifesting. Yes, the healing process is your conscious mind giving you rejection, giving you resistance. You see now, once you start to become present, I'm going to tell you what's going to happen right now. Your mind will fight you. The reason your mind will fight you. Because your mind has never experienced you being in the present this consistently. And that's a threat to the conscious mind. Because if the conscious mind goes with you into the present moment, it's going to run. The reason it's going to run, remember, what's the job of your conscious mind? To process, to deduce, to logicalize information around your world. To observe, to protect you, to decide, hey, you don't want to go there. It's, it's a calculating machine. But it's a very limited calculator machine. So imagine taking a calculator into a room where you have a supercomputer calculator. And that supercomputer calculator, and your calculator is going to get intimidated. It's going to get overloaded because it says, I can't calculate like this guy as fast as this guy. What the hell is going on here? This guy's calculating 1 billion bits of information per second. That's your subconscious mind, by the way. It's calculating 1 billion bits of information per second? I'm only doing like 18,000 thoughts in a 24-hour cycle? My friend, I can't stay here. Let's go back into our little world. Let me put you back into the future. Let me put you back into the past. Let's talk about next week. Let's look ahead into the future. Let me, let me, fake, let me fake make you feel like you're going to be something in your life. This is what. So this is, this is the truth. This is what your mind do to you. So you are going to have to ignore that. So when your mind puts you in the future, bring yourself back into the present, man. Yes, you have to train your mind. If you don't train your mind, your mind is going to train you. And the way the mind trains you, it's not going to be very pleasant for you. Because the mind is only going to train you for survival, not for your desires, 
not for your want your your goals it's just going to train you to make you be aware logicalize be in fear be in panic be in doubt because that's what the mind is accustomed to and is programmed to do you see how it makes sense now thank you julie the great julie says awesome explanation of all this makes so much sense thank you yes so that's the power of manifesting and when you can practice that and when you can become good at that a lot of things will show up into your life a lot faster as we would call them okay and that is because you are in true reality now you're not in the fake stuff you're in the real stuff now okay Adelie say literally in high vibrations attracting money thanks to Mark subliminals yes thank you for bringing that up you know, what else can help you get in the present moment is subliminals. There are subliminals that you can use that get your mind constantly in the present moment. But I'm going to leave you with the biggest tip so you can always be in the present moment. And here it is. If you want to be in the present moment all the time, most of the time, I'm going to show you how to do that right now. One simple thing you got to do. If all you have to do is every day think of anything that makes you feel good, feel happy, inspire you, motivate you, or give you hope. If you do any of that, you will automatically be in the present moment. Now I'm gonna ask you a question now. This may be the toughest question, but it's not. Why is that? Why would me thinking of what I want, da 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 da, all that stuff, put me in the present moment? Can anyone answer that? Repeat it, please. If you want to be in the present moment consistently, think about things that make you feel good, make you happy, inspire you, motivate you, and give you hope. You'll always be in the present moment. So my question is, why is that? Why, why, why me just being optimistic, positive, thinking good stuff place me in the present moment? You're in high level of vibration. Okay. Well, I shouldn't have asked. I shouldn't. Have, I shouldn't have asked that question that way because many, many of you don't know the the answer to it. But it's the part of it. But here's the answer to it. The reason why, when you do those things, right, it'll put you in the present moment, is because what's called your natural vibratory rate. Natural vibratory rate, NVR. Okay. When you got into the world as a baby. When you plucked out into the three-dimensional world, you were already set at a certain vibratory rate. Okay? Your natural state. Your natural state is abundant and being happy and feeling good. So, whenever you think of that, you go back to that state which can only exist in the present moment. Okay? That's why you enter, that's why your mind will automate. Look at it like your default state. Every single one of you human beings have that. And you, when you're in a present moment, you will have more options, have more communication to your higher self, you'll have more communication to your um, subconscious, you'll have higher intuition. Because in a present moment, you are not bombarded by your ego. Remember, your ego don't like the present, so it's going to stay away. The more your ego stays out of the present, the better for you. Because then you can get the stuff that it was blocking you. You can get the idea to make the money, to do this stuff. It's right there in the present. So, that's what I want to leave you with today. And I will see you guys again next time. I'll put the link for my school platform. And for those who would like to get more, take it to the next level with my coaching. It's in there too to help you. Um, so we'll do another video another time and keep those questions coming. See you guys.